Hey, welcome back to another installment of Hyperteching and Tutorials with Big J Glees, and we are going to show you how to set up your OBS to be in sync with your webcam, your HAPOG, and your mic. And it's a little bit tricky, it took me a while to figure it out, but we're going to show you how to do it, and you're going to learn it in no time. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our HAPOG capture, make sure that your Xbox or PlayStation or whatever you're using is turned on. Alright, so we're going to open this up. All right, we're all loaded up. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. All right, you want to try to make this as big as you can and fit it on the screen. All right, so we're going to go a little bit bigger there. Perfect. All right, we're going to take our OBS. You should already have your background open. If you don't know how to set up a background, you can just click right here. You can also click down in the description down below. I also have a link there to the video of how to set this up. All right, so this should be already set up. What you're going to do is you're going to move this off of the screen. You want nothing covering this. All right, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go window capture. Click OK. We're going to make sure it's on HAPOG. We're going to remove the mouse and we're going to capture what's called a subregion. Now, the unfortunate thing is that the HAPOG doesn't currently work with OBS. So, what you have to do is do a window capture to get it to work properly. So, we're going to move these in move this in so we can move this on here and we're going to basically just put it in one corner along one edge inside just like that and we're just going to drag this out just to make sure everything is covered all right that looks good we're just going to click outside here or I'm sorry down here all right and click OK boom all right it's all set up in here now you notice it's offset so we're going to edit the scene, and we're going to drag this out a little bit, move this down here, try to get this as snugly fit in this box as you can. You'll notice that the OBS wants to drag it and pull it to the corners. All right, so we're just going to make this bigger. It makes it a little bit easier, gives you a little bit more room to maneuver. All right, and that looks good. It looks like it fits pretty good there. All right, so our video is set up. So the next thing we're going to set up is our webcam. So we're going to right-click. Go to Add, we're going to go to Video Capture Device, click OK. Alright, now you'll notice when you stream or do a recording with your HAPOG, the HAPOG actually shows on your TV three seconds before everything happens on your stream or on the video that you're recording with OBS. So what you have to do is set the buffering. So we're just going to click this and it's in milliseconds and it's offset by three seconds. So we're going to make this... 3000. All right, and that's going to set your webcam off by 3 seconds, which is perfect because when people see stuff that happens on your screen, they're going to see your reactions right in real time with it. And we're going to shrink this up. Move this down here. All right, we're going to fit this right in this little corner here with the nice border and background that I have made for that. All right, cool. Everything set up there. Now, if you were to record this, your mic would be off sync because you set your webcam three seconds slow. You put a three second delay on your webcam. So we have to do the same for the audio. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to audio. I already have it set up, but you're going to set this where it says mic sync offset. We're also going to set this to 3000 so it matches your webcam and click OK. All right, and that's it. You're all set up. Now, you can't see that it's set up properly because I'm recording with a video software. So I'm recording my whole screen. But if I were to record with my HAPOG and with OBS, you will see that everything is in sync right now. Also, if I were to stream, it would be the same thing. All right, so try that out. Let me know how it works. You can comment down in the comment section below. Thanks for checking this out. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And remember... Game strong. Contact. 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 If you would like to see more videos like this and want to interact with me live, be sure to follow my stream at twitch.tv slash dayglees. For your convenience, I have also posted the link down in the description below. As always, thanks for checking out my video and continue to game strong.